The Minnesota Department of Transportation has proposed a construction project on Minnesota Highway 34 near Osage that has some people in the area concerned. The project would remove several long-standing trees along the Lake Country Scenic Byway. A reporter, Justin Othout, has more. Recently, the Lake Country Scenic Byway has been a source of controversy due to a proposed construction project that would be taking place along Highway 34. This project is a 21 mile project where we're going to do a full depth reclamation of the road and then repave it when we're done. It also includes some culvert improvements and some tree removals for safety purposes. And that is where our concern comes in as an environmental justice organization. MnDOT is proposing a removal of trees and vegetation within 65 feet from both sides of the center line along a majority of the project to create safe zones for drivers, as well as removing 50% of the trees roughly seven miles between Snellman and Osage, with the other 50% of trees remaining out to 100 feet in order to reduce shade on the highway, which will hopefully minimize the amount of ice on the road. The idea there is to allow a little bit more light penetration in that area to bring the paving or the pavement temperatures up and hopefully burn off some of that stuff there so that um, it can be easier to maintain. It's a more uniform corridor. Most of the community pushback comes from the removal of the trees themselves, as some community members would rather have the trees remain. We're concerned about roadway safety for sure, but we want to see that any decisions that are made about removing trees or vegetation are backed um, by public consultation and public input and also backed by scientific data. I think most of us are fine with the resurfacing. You know, they're not widening the road. But what we have difficulty with is this is a scenic byway. In an effort to answer frequently asked questions and address community concerns, MnDOT held an open house conference and invited community members to talk directly to MnDOT officials and learn more about the project. So what we're trying to show tonight with our exhibits is the location of the tree removals and how we feel they're minimal and justified with the safety purposes. I mean, the reason we're doing the tree removals is for the safety purposes, to make the road safer for everyone traveling on it. But even with the open house, community members are still concerned that their voices aren't being heard about misgivings they have about the project. To address the issues, concerns about the trees started off with not an open house, but an actual public meeting where all the information is presented and there's an opportunity to hear from members of the public in a way where we can hear each other and know that we're being heard by the appropriate MnDOT officials. Reporting in Detroit Lakes, I'm Justin Othout, Lakeland News. Bid letting for the project is currently set for the end of October, but is subject to change. Should the project get a suitable bidder, the project would be scheduled for construction in 2023. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.